President Moon still doesn't have his full cabinet in place, but today confirmation hearings were held for the nominees for unification minister and for a prospective education minister. For the latter, though, more accusations of ethical lapses of the kind that have plagued several of the president's nominees so far. Shin Zemin reports. Kim Sang-won nominated to head the country's education ministry, who would also double the role as the deputy prime minister for social affairs, faced questions from the assembly during his one-day confirmation hearing. Opposition party lawmakers try to shoot down the education minister nominee, calling him unfit for the position over allegations that he had plagiarized his research papers, to which Kim had responded by saying that he had done nothing to be ashamed of. Answering policy-related questions, the former education superintendent for Gyeonggi-do province said he would improve equality in education and said he'll monitor the increasingly competitive educational system once sworn in. In today's other confirmation hearing, the unification ministry nominee Cho myung gyun said Seoul will respond strongly to Pyongyang's nuclear and missile provocations while working to re-establish dialogue between the two Koreas. During the hearing, Cho also said that Seoul needs to craft bold and practical ways to resolve the North's nuclear issue. These comments come as President Moon had expressed that he would seek a dual-track approach towards denuclearizing North Korea. Cho also said Seoul needs to work on reopening the now closed Kaesong Industrial Complex once progress has been made towards North Korea's denuclearization. The unification ministry nominee had previously played a part in opening the jointly run complex during his time as a presidential secretary in the Dongmu Hyun administration. Next to face the lawmakers' questions is Labor Ministry nominee Cho Dae-up, who has his confirmation hearing scheduled on Friday. Shin Zemin, Arirang News.